Now, people say that uh, you often get the best ideas when you're relaxed. Um, like uh, in the shower, I often think about things in the shower. Uh, but one particular um, idea uh, and one of the bits of intellectual property we have that's uh, of interest to the commercial companies at the moment uh, came about when uh, <coughs> my postdoc and I were at a uh, conference. Uh, and we'd just been to the conference for the day and we'd have been having a look at the posters and listening to some of the talks and, and thinking about uh, some of the things that have been going on. And then we're, we were relaxing after dinner. We uh, were in a hotel at, uh, in Miami Beach, which was quite nice. And we were outside in one of the seven pools and one of the spa pools and we were discussing these things. And we realized that uh, a couple of the different things that we'd been looking at, uh, was something from the conference, something else we'd been looking at the lab and how we can bring these together and, and generate some, uh, some new ideas and some new intellectual property from that. The selective distance ranging um, makes it easier for the computer to uh, recognize what's happening. Uh, it basically removes interference and distractions uh, and helps to improve and clean up the image. So uh, from a user's point of view, if a user is trying to do a certain gesture to get a television or, a, or lights to do a certain thing, uh, it makes the recognition of that gesture more robust. So uh, if uh, without this technology you might find um, that a person has, would have to be very precise about the way they do the gesture or they might have to repeat the gesture to get the computer to recognize that. But if we can improve the quality of the image and, and remove some of the distortions uh, and some of the complicating factors then it would make the recognition, recognition of that gesture uh, easier for the computer and it means that the a uh, person uh, doesn't have to concentrate so much or, or learn how to communicate with the computer with it because the computer can uh, recognize a larger variety of gestures and easily distinguish one gesture from another. And some of the uh, gesture controls uh, at the moment, um, you need to, some of the gaming systems for example, you need to make sure that you're standing in a certain place um, and that you make a, a, a gesture in a very particular way so the computer will, will pick it up. And we can um, make the, it easier for the computer to recognize a certain gesture in all situations so the user doesn't have to be particular about the way that they make the gesture. And it just makes life easier for the for the person because uh, they don't have to concentrate so much and they, do, they don't have to learn a gesture that the computer will recognize because the computer can more easily recognize uh, a gesture that the person's making. The big thing about the Xbox and that the Xbox Connect and, that, uh, uh, and what was so uh, special about uh, its release is that it was the first gaming system that didn't require anybody to hold a device. So like the Wii, you had to hold the Wii stick and the, the PlayStation, you have to hold the, uh, the PlayStation controller as well. But with the Kinect, nobody actually has to control anything. So you, you're not going to have to fight over the controllers or they're not going to get lost or anything like that. Um, you can just stand up and you can sit there and you can do your racing game or you can play tennis or, or what have you with, without needing to hold anything or without needing to find it or fight over it.